Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is also fantastic and maybe you could also let me know where you're watching the video from. The county or the country in case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday a kuru a quote of the Punguza Mzigo Initiative made some interesting but disturbing revelation on his official Twitter handle. Let me just read for you what a kuru a quote posted on his official Twitter handle or X handle. Lest you forget, the African Union supposed post for Raila Odinga is not quite settled. The US sent Olesugun Obasanjo to propose to Raila Odinga. I want you to mark that. That the US are the ones who sent Olusegun Obasanjo to Kenya to propose to Raila Odinga. Basically, it means that there is US interest in Raila Odinga going for the African Union post. And the tweet proceeds. They want Raila Odinga out of Kenya so that they can pursue their taxation and economic agenda on Kenya as they support William Ruto. Very interesting revelation. And of course, for those who've been following this channel, that's something that I've been repeating on this particular platform many occasions. And is proceeding. Meanwhile, the US is struggling with wars in Ukraine, Gaza, Yemen, Sudan, and not winning any of them as Potas 45 threatens to come back. Now he's talking of uh, Donald Trump wants to make a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, if Donald Trump were to make a comeback, it's going to be very interesting. It's proceeding. The CIA domination in foreign countries since 1914 is under threat. And with it, the rising tide in the Middle East, Asia, China, and Russia is an increasing challenge to them. Remember, he's also mentioning the CIA. And the CIA chief was in the country here some few weeks or months ago. And of course, you also remember that William Ruto has been invited for a state visit to the United States of America by none other than Joe Biden. So this tweet is significant, politically speaking, and therefore I want us to do a critical analysis about it. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. But before I dive in, I want to also to take this opportunity to thank the following people. You are seeing their names on the screen there for the coffee which they sent to me earlier today. You can also do the same using the numbers you are seeing on the screen because it goes a long way in supporting this channel. Ladies and gentlemen, let us dive in. First of all, for the record, there's a time I gave Azimio Laomoja One Kenya Alliance or offered Azimio Laomoja One Kenya Alliance some unsolicited advice. And one of the things I proposed to them is that they need to form some strategic alliances with the key individuals, with the civil society, with the churches in Kenya. And I proposed the name of Ekuru Aukot. And I've been wondering why Azimio Lomoja One Kenya Alliance cannot tap into Ekuru Aukot. Because as much as you, you can say what you want, Ekuru Aukot has some very progressive ideas, which in my view can be helpful to Azimio. I don't know whether Azimio have reached him or he has refused. I don't know. But let me just briefly tell you what he's trying to portray in uh, this uh, tweet. He's saying, number one, that the AU supposed post for Raila is not quite settled. It means that position which Raila Odinga is, uh, has already declared his interest in is not yet settled. So which means there could be some other interest. And that's why Raila Odinga and his supporters should take the stories about Jakaya Kikwete seriously. And is proceeding somewhere here that the U.S. sent Olusegun Obasanjo to propose to Raila that it's actually the U.S. government who sent Obasanjo, which is very interesting. And uh, just today, 
I think that was must have been his latest tweet. There's something which he posted about the US. I, I want just to read it for you. He's saying, how can the US veto a UN ceasefire resolution on Gaza? Now we know who the real sponsor of Gaza was are. So if the US can veto a UN resolution, what about the US determining <laughs> who becomes the next chairperson of the African Union? That's very important. And is proceeding here. They want Raila out of Kenya so that they can pursue their taxation and economic agenda. I think a few days ago on this platform, I explained American interest in the Republic of Kenya. The truth of the matter is that William Samuel Arapruto is currently the president of the Republic of Kenya. Not because of any other thing. It's because the United States of America and the British wanted William Ruto to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. They had their fears over Raila Amundo Odinga. So I can buy the idea or what he's saying here that uh, the US wants to send Raila out of Kenya so that they can pursue their agenda. And of course, Raila Odinga was a big threat towards their achievement of their agenda. The rest I'm not going to go into where he's saying, meanwhile, US, USA is struggling with wars in Ukraine, blah, blah. I don't want to get into that because those ones are not relevant to our country called Kenyans. Ladies and gentlemen, is it true that the United States of America are the ones who sent Olusegun Obasanjo to country to come and negotiate with Raila Odinga? I remember immediately Olusegun Obasanjo left the country. Someone captured him. I just can't remember heading to the United States of America. So how true is that? And what is American interest in sending Raila Odinga? Why would America want Raila Odinga? out of the country. Can you give me your, your thoughts on that? I just want to read them before I give you mine. Ladies and gentlemen, for me, number one, the United States of America wants to support William Ruto and his government. Why? Because William Ruto is their project. Kenya is strategic for the United States of America. And they planted their project. And therefore, that project must succeed. So Raila Odinga is the only and the biggest threat to William Ruto's presidency. And remember, the United States of America understands all this because they have intelligence. They understand all this. So the best way for them is to send Raila Odinga out. Because initially, they wanted Raila Odinga into the country. They thought that if Raila Odinga stayed into the country, and then they create an office for the official opposition leader. And then Raila Odinga occupies that office. Then things were going to change a bit because Raila Odinga was going to be busy. But they've realized that if Raila Odinga were to occupy that office, funded by, by, by government and entrenched in the constitution through the NADCO report, then Raila Odinga was going to expose some of their deals. Raila Odinga was going to be more alert because you know the challenge Raila Odinga might be having as an opposition leader is that because of resources there are certain things you can't do but not with money you know like Raila Odinga is where he is today then you give Raila Odinga an office you give him vehicles you give him security to deal with the government surely what are they thinking about <laughs> so that's number one they want to support William Ruto and the only way is to get Raila Odinga out of the picture Number two, they also want to help William Ruto secure second term in 2027. Let us just be honest. The United States of America understands one thing. That when it comes to numbers, Ruto did not defeat Raleigh Odinga. So they want to force second term. But William Ruto is very unpopular as we speak in the Republic of Kenya. And if I may ask you, who do you think can challenge William Ruto in the country today? Your answer could be none other than Raila Amolo Odinga. That's why Kalonzo Busiwaki is actually struggling as we speak. 
So they know that if Rodinga remained here, whether as a presidential candidate or supporting someone for the presidency, then William Ruto is going to have or to face problem, serious problem. So the solution, which is magic for me, is to help Raila Odinga secure the seat at the African Union. I've gone through the, the, the requirements for being a chair of the AU Union, African Union Commission. One of the requirements is that you must have master's degree, and that master's degree, they are very specific on the fields, political science, economy, there are several others. Raila Odinga has master's in engineering. Is that part of it? Is that part of the requirement? So Raila Odinga can easily be knocked out of that. But if they want him, they'll use other avenues. <laughs> yeah. So the truth is they want to help Ruto secure second term. Number three, the US government don't want Raila Odinga as the president of the Republic of Kenya. And they also don't want Raila Odinga as the official opposition leader in the Republic of Kenya. Initially, just like I was trying to explain earlier, they wanted to create an office for Raila Odinga to keep Raila Odinga busy. But after the Mandamanos, I was reading some IMF reports today, and the IMF were attributing the high taxes imposed on Kenyans by government of Kenya to Azimio demonstrations. So you wonder how Azimio demonstrations triggered an increase in tax. So it just tells you that the US are up to something because IMF are just puppets of the US. So they don't want Raila either as a president and they don't want him as a position leader. So the best thing, send him to Ethiopia and make sure he stays there until after election. And lastly, and this is also very interesting and sad, the US government wants to impose some foreign policies on Kenya. And I wanted to mark this. There's a specific one they are really interested in. Uru rejected. In fact, the fallout between Uru and the US is because of the fact that Uru Kenyatta rejected that policy. I don't want to mention it on my channel because you know YouTube can strike this channel and tomorrow you won't have <laughs> you won't have any channel to, to watch. Yeah? So they don't they don't run, um, so I don't I'm not going to mention, but you know what Uru Kenyatta refused, which American government really wanted. Kenyans to start practicing. By Ruto going to the US, when he comes back, he, I don't know what you think, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you watched it up to this stage, can you let me know in the comment section? And of course, if you, you also watch this video up to this stage, I want to ask you specifically to open the link to my Facebook page on the comment section, which is pinned. And please, Subscribe or like that page and follow that page. I want that page to reach 6,000 subs so that we can start engaging more also on Facebook for those who are on Facebook. Basically, the bridged versions of this of these uh, videos would find their way to that platform. Thank you and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.